I also rise today to recognize the significant steps that the Senate recently took to improve the mental health care of veterans and save lives with the passage of the Commander John Scott Hannon Veterans Mental Health Care Improvement Act. This moves us one step closer to paving a new path forward in suicide prevention and implementing a new strategy that I believe will give hope and purpose to the men and women who live with these invisible injuries. More than 50,000 organizations nationwide provide suicide prevention services for veterans. These nonprofits and community organizations play such a vital role and have taken the lead to build effective programs. I've heard from veterans how organizations like the Rogers, Arkansas-based Sheepdog Impact Assistance are encouraged them to live their best life. I've also seen how outdoor therapies like Rivers of Recovery are supporting the mental health needs of veterans and how service, veteran service organizations are stepping up and addressing mental health care in their communities. We have so many organizations in Arkansas and throughout the country that are doing a great job in this capacity. In Mountain Home, Arkansas, the Disabled American Veterans Chapter changed its approach to outreach after the region experienced the highest veteran suicide rate in the state, one of the highest in the nation. Members enhanced their contact with veterans in the area. This connection has saved lives and reversed the suicide rate in northern Arkansas. It makes sense that we harness the ideas and successes of this DAV chapter and other advocates into sound policy. That's why I joined with Senator Mark Warner to champion a new strategy that authorizes the VA to provide grants to nonprofits in their community. In establishing a framework to coordinate these efforts and expand outreach to more veterans. Additionally, this legislation will enable the VA to establish greater partnerships with communities to better measure the effectiveness of ongoing suicide uh, prevention programs. I appreciate the leadership of the VA Committee Chairman Jerry Moran and Ranking Member John Tester and the assistance of them and their staffs in working with me and Senator Warner and our staffs to include our proposal, the Improved Wellbeing for Veterans Act in the comprehensive mental health care package, again, that we just passed in the Senate. Especially want to thank uh, Rosie Heiss, Amanda Want, and Pat McGoigan, members of my staff who spent countless hours and worked with numerous groups to find a solution to help advance this idea. The VA estimates around 20 veterans commit suicide each day. That number has remained roughly unchanged despite a tremendous increase in funding. Interesting, only six of those 20 veterans are receiving health care services at the VA. By sharing information and collaborating with veteran service nonprofits and other community organizations, we can expand our network and provide the help that veterans need and ultimately capture more veterans into our VA system. VA Secretary Robert Wilkie called this approach key to unlocking the veteran suicide crisis. I'm hopefully is right. I applaud the Senate for advancing this bill and look forward to working with my colleagues in the House of Representatives to quickly approve this legislation so we can reassure veterans that their best days are ahead of them.